Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. I'm Monica and today's video is a new one to my channel but not new at all to the YouTube world. We're doing a Shop My Stash video. I watch these and really enjoy them so I thought I would give it a whirl. We'll see how you guys like them. But when I was doing my declutter series I was noticing that I really need to remember to pull things out to use whether or not like I love them or just like them. I pretty much got rid of everything I didn't like. In fact, I did. Like, everything in my collection is something that I at least enjoy, so I want to get use out of all of my makeup, so I'm gonna be cycling through it. If you guys like this video, we can continue this series. We'll see how you guys respond to it, if you guys enjoy it. I really enjoy watching those videos, and I think it's really fun to like dive into somebody else's makeup collection and see what they have and see what they're gonna pull out and use. And so that's why I wanted to do this. Hopefully you guys are excited about that from me. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so I'm starting off with face makeup. So I'm here at my face makeup drawer, and I'm actually going to take this little divider out real quick because I wanna start off with primers, and those are under that. And so I'm going to keep this in rotation. This is actually a backup, but I have uh, the one I'm currently using in my everyday makeup drawers. And so I'm going to keep this because it's basically what makes my makeup last forever, or at least as long as it can. So I'm going to keep that, but I'm also going to bring in a glowy primer. So I think I'm going to bring in the lightest shade of the Halo Glow Filter from e.l.f., just because, I don't know, I feel like that's gonna be fun for me to use. I haven't used it in a while, and I've always really liked it. So I'm gonna grab this and start using it. All right, so I brought this back. This is like tinted products, and I wanna pull some from here. So I think I'm going to pull the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. I haven't used this in a while, but it is one of my all-time favorite products, especially from the drugstore. It is so, so good, so I'm gonna pull this, and I think I'm gonna pull another foundation too. So we all know how much I love the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear, but I'm going to also grab another thing I can use because I haven't really branched out in foundations yet in a while, so I think I'm gonna grab the House Labs foundations. I think I'm gonna grab both of these shades because I'm gonna be self tanning soon, and so I'm gonna want the darker one, but I wanna keep using these. These are very similar to the L'Oreal Impalable Fresh Wear. In fact, I believe, in my personal opinion, that the L'Oreal Impalable Fresh Wear is a dupe for this one performance-wise. So I'm gonna grab both of these because I know how well they last in the summer. So I wanna pull out another color corrector. I don't really have any other concealers right now to use, so I wanna pull out a color corrector. I have a bajillion. If you watched my declutter series, you saw how many of these I actually own. It's a little embarrassing, but um, I wanna grab one of these, and I think, actually, I'm gonna grab this Sigma one, it's like a duo one, so you've got two different shades, and this is an excellent one. It's right behind the Charlotte Tilbury for me. I love it. So I'm gonna put this in my everyday makeup drawer. All right, so now I'm at my other face makeup drawer. This is like bronzer, blush, and highlighter, and so I wanna pull out some that I don't use very much. This is an area that I definitely need to maybe branch out a little bit more currently because I'm kind of stuck on what I like. So, um, let's see. Do you love that? Hmm. So I'm gonna grab the House Labs bronzer. This one is excellent. I think it's really, really pretty. It's pretty expensive for what it is. I don't really think I would ever repurchase it because I have other ones um, that are a lot cheaper than this, but I'm gonna pull it out and use it because I really do like it. And then I'm gonna pull out this L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Blush. This is in the shade Daring Rosewood. Um, it's a little deep for me, like when I'm fair. I can work with it with a light hand, but I mostly use this when I'm self tan, but I do wanna continue using it because I wanna talk about it in my speed reviews video that I'll have coming soon ish. And so I'm going to pull this out and use this. And for highlighter, this is not one of my favorites, but it's one I want to keep using. I enjoy using it on the eyes. It's the Rare Beauty one. And I believe the shade is Exhilarate. And I don't hate this. It's just really poppy. But um, if I go in with a light hand, I think I can make it work. Plus, I do enjoy using it on the eyes for a little effect. So I'm going to pull this out for highlighter and just keep trying to use it. And it is a shade I can use when I'm both fair and self tan. So that's nice in that case, because I'm going back and forth right now. All right, so here we are in my eyeshadow drawer, and this is one of my favorite categories, personally. I love eyeshadow, but I also can, can sometimes get in a rut because I like what I like, and so sometimes I just get in the routine of using the same things over and over again. But I'm gonna branch out, and I wanna pick some to use or try out. I think there's one in here that I haven't tried at all, and I wanna pull that one out, but if you watch my declutter series, uh, the eyeshadow was probably the biggest portion of it. 
that is what I decluttered the most of. I'm pretty proud of it because I had way too much. But let's see here. So once you grab this, this is actually still in the box. I haven't even used it. This is the uh, Sigma Ambience palette and it's like a warm neutrals and I want to try it out. I really like Sigma's eyeshadow formula so I think I'd really like this. Plus this is the perfect time to pull it out with all the warm tones. So I'm gonna grab that and then I think I'm gonna pull this out. This is an old elf like collab. This is the Cookies and Dreams. I do really love this palette. It is so pretty. Obviously I use these two shades the most but I want to pull this back out because I haven't used it in almost a year and I remember really enjoying it so I'm gonna grab this and then I don't want to grab it too many but I do want to grab one more and this one I haven't used very much at all. So this is the Persona Identity palette. It's not brand new or anything but I haven't really tested it so I want to grab it. It kind of leans a little bit cooler Definitely still neutral, but a little bit cooler, so I don't know how much I'm gonna use this in the summer, but I still wanna pull it out and give it a shot. And then lastly, we're at like where my mascara and eyeliners are. So I love the Rare Beauty mascara. I talk about it all the time, but I do need to branch out a little bit and at least use these before they go bad. So I'm going to bring out this About Face mascara. I actually really like this. It is a close second to the Rare Beauty one but it's a rubberized bristle brush, um, whereas I prefer like a natural one. But this is such a great formula, so I'm going to grab this out. And then I don't wanna get too many, but I do wanna start using these, so I'm going to also grab this CoverGirl Clump Crusher. This is actually a dupe for uh, this Tower 28 one, which I'll use later, maybe in another stitch of my stash. But I'm gonna use this one because I remember CoverGirl mascara is drying out pretty quickly. So I wanna use this before it dries out completely. And I think that I'll be able to do that pretty well. And then this, I haven't used very much. This is actually like a red eyeliner from Charlotte Tilbury. I think it's called like Walk of Shame. And I got it to test it out against a supposed dupe for a Charlotte Tilbury dupes video about two years back. It's like a crimsony burgundy color. And I just don't use this color very much, but I want to pull it out and just see if I will. I feel like it could go like either fall or spring, and so now is about the time, fall or spring, no, I feel like you could use it in either fall or summer, and so I think that now is a good time to whip it out, see if I'll use it a little bit. And then I'm going to grab this Flower Beauty Eyeliner. This is like what I use on my waterline, or like the type of product I have found what I like better from the Sephora makeup line but I want to use this just give it a shot um, because I just like eyeliners that brighten your eye and this one actually was one that I liked before the Sephora one so I'm gonna whip it out and just continue using all right it. so that is it for my very first shop my stash video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did let me know and let me know if you would like to see more of these kind of videos I plan on doing these off camera anyway so if you guys want to go along for the ride definitely let me know I think it would be fun that way we can kind of like explore my makeup collection together like we did today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit that notification bell down below and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And also check out the rest of my channel if you like vlogs and beauty. That is what we do over here. And so yeah, go check it out if you haven't already. For now, that is it. So I hope you guys have the best rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.